Hello, today I would like to talk about broadband noise modeling on a Formula One race car. So the purpose of this tutorial is to provide guidelines and recommendation for a basic setup and solution procedure for solving an acoustic field generated by a Formula One race car, and we are going to use the broadband noise model. The problem is initially solved for steady state and the broadband noise acoustic model will be used later on to post-process the data and capture the area acoustic field on the steady state solution. So this is the description of the problem. We have a flow passing a Formula 1 race car that is being scaled down with a factor of 10. And in order to have the same Reynolds number as the one that we have on real Formula 1 race car, the free stream velocity has to be 37 and a half kilometer per hour. We have incompressible air with constant properties. Let's start fluent. Now we can read the mesh that I prepared before. After loading the mesh, we can check the quality of the mesh to ensure that the minimum orthogonal quality is in an acceptable range. We can set up the problem. Since we have turbulent flow on the body of the car, we are going to use the K-Epsilon model with realizable option enhanced fault treatment and production limiter turned on to model the turbulent flow around the body of the car. I'm going to maintain the default properties of the air. And also I'm going to maintain the default values of the cell zone conditions for this problem. Now we can set up the boundary conditions starting with the inlet. The velocity magnitude for the inlet boundary condition is 10 and a half meter per second and for intensity and viscosity ratio I'm going to use values of 1% for intensity and 1 for viscosity ratio at the inlet boundary condition. I'm going to maintain all other boundary condition as is. I'm going to just take a look at the pressure outlet. The zero gauge pressure is acceptable and I'm going to maintain the turbulence specification method of intensity and viscosity ratio with default values of 5% and 10 for viscosity ratio as is. Okay, now I'm going to modify the reference values for this problem. I'm going to change the reference values for area, length, and velocity to appropriate values that I have here for the flow past the model Formula 1 race car. Now let's move on to the method for the solution. I'm going to use the coupled method with second order for turbulent kinetic energy and also second order upwind for the turbulent dissipation rate. Also I'm going to turn on the pseudo transient warp phase gradient correction and also high order time relaxation. Now let's move on to solution controls. I'm going to maintain all the values for under relaxation factors as default values, only I'm going to change the under relaxation factor for density from 1 to 0 0.5. Now I'm going to monitor the lift force that we have on the body of the Formula 1 race car as a convergence criteria. In order to have a lift force as a monitor, I can define it as part of the reports definition, force report, and lift values on the body of the Formula 1 race car. I'm going to name it lift. I'm going to turn on the report plot and also print to console options. Hit OK and then we can move on to run calculations. Under run calculations, I'm going to specify a length scale method of value of 0.5 for the Formula 1 race car that will be used to calculate the pseudo transient time step. I'm going to specify the number of iterations of thousands. And I'm going to initialize this domain using compute from inlet option. Now we are going to calculate the values. After about 300 iterations, the solution will converge and you can see that the lift forces will get to a plateau region and it's not changing anymore. By looking at the residuals and also the values of the lift force monitor that we specified ourselves, we can ensure that the solution is completely converged. Now by knowing that, we can turn on the acoustic model under setup physics and analyze the acoustic field generated by the body of the Formula 1 race car. 
In order to calculate the acoustic field, I'll change the reference acoustic power to 1e minus 8 and hit OK. Now under contours, we can plot the surface acoustic power level on the body of the race car in decibels, as you can see here. And also under the acoustic contours, we can plot the Lily's total noise source. And you can see that the tires and the front panel are the main sources of the noise that we have around the body of the Formula One race car. Okay, that concludes our tutorial, which demonstrated the use of the broadband noise acoustic model in ANSYS Fluent to solve an acoustic field generated by a Formula One race car. We also learned how to set up relevant parameters for post-processing the noise signal and the noise source around the body of the Formula One race car.